is Tammy Pally, aka the Crafty Princess and Doll Collector, and here is another wine and dolly installation. I am drinking uh, some Pinot Grigio. I don't remember the brand, but it's not an expensive kind. It's just something I got at the grocery store, and I'm drinking it out of a um, old funky goblet thingy that we have around the house because that way I don't have to worry about um, me or an animal knocking it over and breaking it. Not that that ever happens. And I kind of have this adjusted so that you guys can see some of my dollies over here, um, who a couple of them I have uh, dressed up for the holidays. And I apologize in advance for the weird lighting over here, over here, yeah, there we go. Um, it, is, it is late in the evening and it's kind of like in the, between the sun setting. I almost wasn't going to go ahead and record because it's been a very long, um, busy day, but then um, I have stuff coming up the next few days, and then and one of those one of those um, stuffs that I have to do is go to my dermatologist, and I thought there is a possibility she might um, do something to my face, which will not be pretty, <laughs> to say the least. I scheduled it on purpose so that. Um, I wouldn't have to worry about, um, you know, that I have time to heal because uh, classes have ended for me as far as teaching. I turned in my grades last week and then this week I have meetings and um, commencement. I get to wear the cap and gown for the billionth time and uh, say congratulations and hats off and all that stuff to the graduates. And then right after that I'm going to go get uh, some um, work done at the dermatologist. So I purposely scheduled that after all of this thing so that I have the holiday to recover <laughs> from whatever torture she has planned for me. <laughs> Eek. <laughs> so anywho, um, yeah, so I thought, well, I better do that wine and dollies. We'll, we'll see, hopefully, hopefully I won't have anything um, bad happen to me there, but it has been my experience that you just never know. So better safe than sorry. And I do have some dolly stuff to share with you. Um, let's see, first of all, the last wine and dollies I mentioned that I have uh, written a novel where my protagonist is a doll doctor. And uh, for anyone who has questioned about the doll doctor thing, I've had a couple people, usually they're guys who are not, and I know there's plenty of male doll collectors out there, so I'm not talking about you guys at all, you're in the know. But uh, a few of my uh, acquaintances have questioned me about the fact that what is a doll doctor? Does that really exist? Did you make that up? No, I did not make that up. Doll doctors have been around for years. In fact, it's something that I have been interested in, you know, I don't know, almost my whole life. <laughs> okay, so, but if you are curious about what the heck a doll doctor is, just Google it and you'll see um, that there, there aren't like a ton of doll doctors and they do not make a ton of money. But yes, there are plenty of um, people, artists, I would call them artists out there who restore dolls, make dolls, create dolls, uh, repair dolls, whatever you want to call it. So anywho, the uh, update on the novel is that I sent it to my first literary agent. I uh, sent all the information that you're supposed to do, query letter, uh, synopsis, a uh, couple of chapters, and um, I got a very quick rejection. <laughs> so. The good, the good news was she didn't sit on it, um, so I appreciate that. The bad news is she said no. Um, so I turned it right around and sent it out to another uh, literary agent on my list. And then today I actually um, sent it out to, or you know, again, a query letter, synopsis, and a few introductory, first few chapters out, hard copy to a small literary press in Florida um, that actually it doesn't, I'll just say it's Pineapple Press. I don't know if anybody's familiar with them or not. I, they've been around forever. Um, they primarily don't really publish a lot of fiction. They mostly publish nonfiction. All of it's Florida related. Um, so for example, if you have a novel and it's not set in Florida, don't send it to them. Um, but my, my novel is set in Florida. So, so yeah, I, I just, I'm surprised I didn't think about it sooner, like duh. I mean, I know Pineapple Press. I actually sent them a proposal for the Florida literature book that I did um, with a colleague a couple years ago, and they rejected that, though we did find a publisher later, so, you know, no big deal. Um, but yeah, that went out in the mail today, so I have two more possibilities of rejection <laughs> coming down the bike. And, uh, in addition, I have uh, my BFF, who is 
uh, proofreading it for me. Bless her heart, 425 double spaced pages of uber goodness. And um, three Dolly friends of mine, uh, people I know through the doll community on Facebook, I posted a uh, request on the um, Dolly's Uncent Dolls Uncensored Facebook page. I asked for three sets of eyeballs, and basically I just asked them to read for pleasure, not necessarily proofread it for me, but to uh, read it, and um, if they see some typos, which there are definitely typos in most of the manuscript, not the not the few, first few chapters that I've been sending out, but definitely in the rest of the manuscript, there will be typos, um, to please make a note of it and let me know. So hopefully between three people casually reading it and one person really reading it very uh, carefully, um, uh, someone who also ha is, she is, um, she's a professional. I mean, she's not a professional editor, but she is, uh, you know, a professional as far as enough to you know, edit for me as far as proofreading goes. So between all of those people, hopefully it'll be very, very, very clean at some point. So yeah, that's the um, that's the deal with the Doll Doctor book. Uh, I do have another uh, book in the works. Um, that book has no dollies in it. In fact, it doesn't really even have any crafting in it, which has kind of surprised me. I, um, I, I, yeah, I thought I would have some crafting in it, but I don't, so far that's not happening, so... I don't know. Uh, I'll keep you posted on what's going on with that. But right now I'm just kind of feeling my way around in the story. I have a lot written, but it's very um, patchworky at this point. All right, so that's the Dolly book update. I have a list here, by the way, because I'm really tired and I know I will forget to say things. Uh, what's the other thing? Um, oh, holiday Dolly time. I have really been enjoying the amazing pictures I've been seeing on Facebook on the different... Um, doll groups showing their dolls during the holidays and so I got inspired I don't have a lot I mean in fact I have no actual holiday attire so to speak for the dolls I don't have a lot of red um, most of my dolly stuff is uh, blues pinks and uh, purples um, but I was able to cobble together a couple of outfits that the gals are wearing here this um, for example let me just pull her here by the way oh Oh no! I'm sorry, Winter Shalur, Mia. Get over here, girl. By the way, if you hear some wild cat shenanigans, my cats are out there kind of going crazy. So, um, let me take the doll stand off of her. So, here is um, Mia. I, I call her Mia, but she's a, a original uh, stock Winter Shalur. This a little babushka thingy actually came with her stock. Um, items. This dress, I think I got it from. I don't remember. <sighs> I probably did a video of this actually, um, but it's it's an Etsy seller. If I'll try to remember to put her URL down now because she does have really cute clothes and they're very reasonable. But she has uh, these these stockings were cool cat. Um, I think these shoes were again. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I know I did a video showing these shoes not that long ago, so, but um, I'll try to put URLs in there for you guys. And so this has kind of got like a gray, it's, I guess it's, it looks gray, but it's also kind of a blue. I think it's supposed to be navy blue, but to me it kind of comes off gray in a way. And um, so yeah, I just put this little hat on her. She looks super cute. Her hair is pulled back in a little clippy thing. So that is Mia, and this, this, I guess I need to retie the hat because it keeps kind of flopping around on her. But she's ready for the holidays. I think she looks cute. She's such a pretty doll. This is probably, I would say, one of the prettiest stock dolls I've seen. And then here is um, Amber, AKA uh, Country Summer, and she is wearing the stock dress actually that came with Winterish Allure. And I put some stockings on her. Again, these are from Cool Cat. Oops, sorry, I was just flashed you. I'm always doing that. I'm always flashing you guys. So sorry for the flashing. And then I have just some red shoes that I put on, which again, to me, look washed out, but hopefully when I upload this, it won't look so washed out. Everything kind of looks washed out in it to me right now because the lighting is funky here. And yeah, I, I want to find, I'm pretty sure I probably have some red um, ribbon around here somewhere that I might, 
use to put give her some like some sort of hair ornament or something like that but those are the only two gals that I have dressed up right now um, I do have one other little red outfit that I'm going to put I'm reaching over here I have this little red skirt that I got from CC toys uh, this little blouse that I got once when I was um, trading with somebody and some more cool cat uh, little stockings and I think this girl who is just still not getting the attention she deserves is probably going to um, get dressed up for the holidays in this outfit what do you think yeah cute oh in addition other dolly things I've been doing other than finally changing some of their clothes uh, I have a lot of dolly hair stuff I need to do and I finally got tomorrow's hair aka um, Cherry Beach Sunset um, I soaked her hair in some water and um, what is it um, words fabric softener so fabric softener water soaked it all day long um, rinsed it a little bit and then later laid it out to dry. You can still kind of, you can still see a little bit where I had her hair in a ponytail. But I will say it's much softer. Uh, her hair was very like dry and funky feeling. And I can see this has made a big difference. I may even, I may even do it again. Um, I'd like to get this little bendy thing out of here. Though I, very often, if you notice, I, I, I like to put their hair back because it just gets all tangled up. Um, and their faces are so cute. So, yes, she finally got a hair treatment. And, yeah, so now she's hanging out in a typical Florida outfit. <laughs> Jeans and a hoodie and tennis shoes. Actually, in Florida, she'd be wearing uh, flip-flops, but otherwise, she's definitely a Florida girl. And, by the way, if you don't know, I live in Florida. You know I'm very pale because I can't sit out in the sun anymore. I used to be able to. I used to be like her. <laughs> now I cannot do that. Um, and I do have some other dolly hair things I want to do. I have uh, two dolls that I need to cut their hair. Um, it's, they're stock dolls. Is it right there? Okay. They're stock dolls and their hair is like down to their feet practically. Um, and I want to cut, just cut them straight off. And then, what was the other one? Oh, um, I have a doll. I'm going to try to curl her hair. Her hair is wavy, but I'm going to try to do pin curls and see what happens. So that's on the uh, agenda. And other doll works in progress. Um, basically, I've been holding off on buying a whole lot of dolly stuff. I have bought a dress recently I'm waiting for. Just a, just a $10 little dress, um, a sailor dress I've been wanting for a long time. It's you know, I think it was $13 and that included shipping and it's from China, whatever. Um, so that's not like a big expense, but I've really been holding back on buying, um, doll items and, um, also yarn. I've been on a yarn diet. I'm trying to use up my yarn and I was going to show some of the stuff I've been making, but, um, uh, maybe I'll do that in a separate video cause I don't, it's getting late and I'm tired and I don't want to keep this going on and on, but um, there are two dolls right now on my radar, and so I'd be curious to know uh, what you guys think. I don't think a lot of people have these dolls yet. Uh, one of them is a pull-up doll, Taffy. Let's see, can you see her? Oh, that's not coming out very well. It's on my iPad. Oh, oh there you go. That's better. Okay, so this is um, pull-up style has her right now. And... The thing is that when I only have three pull-up dolls. I have Romantic Alice, I have Fräulein, and I have, um, oh, what's her name? She has the weirdest name. Um, she has a little sailor dress outfit on, which is why I wanted another sailor dress for a pull-up, or for a Blythe doll. So, but they all, all three of them have sort of this 19th century feel to them, I guess. 19th, 18th, yeah, 19th century, I would say late 19th century feel to them. So, um, my thoughts were originally I was going to stay and I wanted pull-up dolls that all kind of had a, a cohesive look because with the pull-ups, you don't really, you know, change their clothes and stuff like you do with the, uh, with the Blythe. But, um, this girl just spoke to me. I mean, she's such a bohemian and I just love, like, if I could dress like that, I actually used to dress like that practically when I was very young. So, um, yeah, 
I just like her, so probably going to get her at some point. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it over. Uh, and I don't know if lot, there's no videos out about her or anything. She is a very fairly new release. And then the other doll, let me find her here, that's on my radar. And I'm probably not going to, even if I had, even if I was going to spend the bucks on this one, which is she's a, she's a Blythe doll, January release. If you are into Blythe, you probably already know about her. Uh, yeah. I mean, seriously. Okay, first of all, I don't know if you can see on that. She's this is if you want to see a good picture of her, go to Junie Moon's blog, Junie Moon Shop blog. She has front facing purple eyes. Front facing purple eyes, people. A stock doll with front facing purple eyes. And her hair, um, it says on here that the hair, uh, she's a she's a radiance plus fair color um, natural. Her eyes are light blue, gray, purple, light green, special, a new deep mauve, mauve color, brownish, a brownish dark purple. So her hair is brownish dark purple. I need that doll. <laughs> Crap. And her stock is just, I mean, look at the outfit. She's got a little purse and those boots. And jeez, She's going to be limited. Um, in fact, Junie Moon says at the bottom of this blog post we will have a select amount of dolls available for Junie Moon international customers me, meaning me I'm in you know the US we will uh, announce purchase information once the off official photos are released so that means with Junie Moon um, they will have probably a lottery and you can apply and if you win the lottery you get to buy the doll um, CC Toys it's hard to say. They probably will have some, and they'll probably charge a buttload for them, and then they will sell out in minutes. <laughs> that's that's what I suspect. Um, and yeah, so I'm kind of like this point thinking, you know, how badly do I want her? I I haven't bought a new doll for a while. Definitely haven't bought any stock dolls for quite a while. So I don't know. There, that's on my wish list. Please, Santa, bring me this January release. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, yeah, I'm done with school here, and uh, I will be off for a while. I still, I mean, I'm done with school, but I have meetings and all that kind of stuff, and then I also have to get all my classes prepped, which I've been working on that. I did that most of the weekend, actually, so I'm trying to get all my classes, as much prep stuff done before commencement, so then once I, once we do commencement, I'm free for a couple of weeks. I think it's actually going to be, I want to say three weeks I'm going to be off. And so hopefully I'll have lots of time to work on my dolly hobby, knit and crochet and uh, write, <laughs> work on the next novel. And otherwise, yeah, that's it. So and maybe do some videos, right? Hopefully if my face is uh, looking okay. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you stopping by and subscribing. And um, yeah, thanks for coming by. Talk to you later. Have a wonderful dollar day.